Purdy. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Order, Nova please. We've only had the first round of questioning, <laughs> and here I have to call order. So please respect everybody on both sides of the floor. The Honourable Leader of the New Democratic Party. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, Nova Scotians remain concerned about this government's unwillingness to restrict the misuse of non-disclosure agreements, to stop them from being used to silence the survivors of abuse. Documents obtained through Freedom of Information show that the development of NDA legislation was labeled a priority for the Justice Department as recently as last summer, and I'll table that. But by the fall, the Minister of Justice was quoted telling the media that it was not a priority for government, and I'll table that. Mr. Speaker, Nova Scotians are wondering why the government has changed their tune and whether that shifting of priorities came from the Premier's office. The Honourable Premier. M Mr. Speaker, a couple things. We, we of course, agree that uh, non-disclosure agreements should not be used as a means to silence victims of sexual abuse. Of course we agree with that, Mr. Speaker. I think the minister at the time was referring to the dissuasive legislation that was before the House. I myself know sometimes you, you say something you know, a, a little wrong, but uh, I, will assure that, I will assure the member that uh, it is a priority. There is a jurisdictional scan happening. There is research happening. Uh, we want to get this right. We, we, we know, Mr. Speaker, we, we, we know that these sh uh, should not be used as a, as a means to silence uh, victims of sexual assault. The Honourable Leader of the New Democratic Party on her first supplementary. Uh, the, Mr. Speaker, um, the Minister of Justice did in fact say that legislating the misuse of non-disclosure agreements was not a priority for his government, and, and you can go ahead and look at the document I tabled, and also cited the same need for a jurisdictional scan, uh, but the same Freedom of Information request showed that the Department of Justice has been engaging in this scan since February of last year and has been conducting ongoing updates and work throughout the year, and I'll table that. The Law Society of Manitoba, the Government of British Columbia, and the Irish Parliament have all done scans. They are publicly available and free. In the meantime, more provinces are coming forward with their own legislation. Every day that this question, government please. fails to act is a day that it fails to protect women and survivors. My question is simple. When will the Premier act? The Honourable Premier. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and, and we'll, we'll act when we complete our research. There's a jurisdictional scan happening. That's happening at the departmental level. I trust the, I trust the departmental uh, folks to get, that, to get that right, and when we get the information, we'll, we'll, we'll move forward accordingly at that time. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Leader of the New Democratic Party on her final supplementary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. What makes this government's inaction truly surprising? is the broad range of those supporting swift action. Mm -hmm. It was the Premier's own minister responsible for the status of women who brought this forward to the Justice Department. Last month, 94% of Canadian Bar Association members voted in favour of a resolution to prevent non-disclosure misuse. Ireland, the United States, PEI and many other jurisdictions nationally and internationally have acted. If it's not professional or public support, if it's not jurisdictional scans, which are widely available, that are preventing this government from taking action, what is it? Why is this government refusing to protect the survivors of abuse? The Honourable Premier. I think, Mr. Mr. Speaker, the, I'll look at the members' tablings uh, once we have them, but we, we also support uh, stopping the misuse. I think I said that right off the top, Mr. Speaker. We agree they should not be used as a means to silence uh, victims of sexual assault. We agree with that, Mr. Speaker. We are doing the research at the departmental level. We will continue to do that research until we have the, the fulsome research. And then when we have all the information that's deemed necessary by the department, we'll act accordingly at that time, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Thank you.